What's up everybody? Welcome to another honest review video. Today we are gonna talk about this eGPU from SGW Zone. This actually is a gaming and AI box. There are two different graphics card choices. I have got mine with AMD Radeon RX 6600M graphics card and I have been enjoying the performance of this eGPU. You know what? These days I haven't been working. I'm spending more time playing games cause now I can play games on any of my mini PCs and laptops. Even if I'm not a gamer, this eGPU has turned me into a gamer. Cause gaming with this eGPU is much more fun, it's more enjoyable, it offers battery smooth in-game experience. You know, if you don't have a gaming PC, then it's very difficult to play graphics intensive games. I personally prefer to use mini PCs and I have different laptops too. The problem is most of the mini PCs and notebooks don't come with a discrete graphics chipset. So I have been looking for an eGPU for a while and yeah, finally I have got one. This is not only an eGPU, this one also works as a hub. Look at the ports. More importantly, the USB-C ports are USB 4 ports which supports both the Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4. Okay, as I've been using this eGPU for the past couple of weeks, I have already unboxed it and I haven't recorded any video of the unboxing. So I cannot share unboxing experience with you, but I can tell you clearly that this eGPU comes with a very good USB 4 cable, a power cord and a proper user guide. Okay, SGW Zone Gaming and AI eGPU has a built-in power supply, a GAN 240W unit which occupies less than 25% of the space and doesn't generate heat even under heavy load. The built-in power supply can provide up to 85 watt power to the host so we can use this eGPU with any laptops and keep the laptop powered without using any extra power source or cable. Well, through this video I will refer to this product as eGPU. I like this eGPU because this one is really pretty much portable. We can just put it in our backpack and carry it around with us. It weighs only 766 grams. Yeah, truly, this is a very thin and lightweight eGPU and as it is manufactured with high quality ABS materials, it has a very sturdy build quality. I know most of the people use eGPU for gaming, but we can also use eGPUs for rendering and video editing. I need to mention, there are some other graphics card options like NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. If you prefer NVIDIA, then definitely you can go for that. But after a lot of testing, I must say, RX 6600M offers better performance on all the systems. It doesn't matter whether you have a Ryzen-based system or a Intel-based system. I have chosen mine with AMD Radeon RX 660M because this graphics card has 28 compute unit. Peak single precision compute performance can go up to 8.77 teraflops. RX 6600M has 1792 stream processors. AMD Infinity cache technology of 32 megabyte. It has GDDR6 memory with a 40 gigabit per second bandwidth. The memory interface is 128-bit and this eGPU comes with a 8GB edition of RX 6600M. If you don't know about the memory bandwidth, then well, the memory bandwidth of RX 6600M goes up to 224GB per second. I don't know whether you care about appearance or not, but I do care about appearance. I personally like this gaming and AI box because it comes in a simple yet attractive housing. There are four very big air vents which helps the fan to keep this eGPU cool all the time. Okay, there is a power button at the back and most importantly, this one supports hot swap. There are three USB 3.0 ports, two HDMI 2.0 ports, a display port, yeah, it's a 1.4 port, two USB 4 ports and both the USB 4 ports actually supports Thunderbolt 3 and 4. One of those two USB 4 ports are actually a host port and the other one is a downstream port. The host port can provide up to 85 watt charging speed. Both the USB 4 port support 40 gigabit per second data transfer rate. The downstream port supports up to 8K display and we can also use that port for Thunderbolt Daisy Chain. 
There is another thing I need to mention. There is a LCD panel on this eGPU. We can check many different type of data on this LCD panel, like GPU temperature, GPU clock speed, and if we want, we can also put our logo or anything on this display panel. Okay, there is an application LCD Master, and we can use the application to customize the display panel. We can cycle through clock, weather, display color, background color, and many other things. We can totally customize five displays in carousel style with different intervals to show what we want. Well, it's time to check some benchmark scores and gaming performance. I have tried SGW Zone eGPU with many different laptops and mini PCs. I ran Horizon Zero Dawn at 1080p on a Ryzen 9 5900HX based mini PC. Bang! It has increased the performance by a huge margin. Above 100 average FPS with a very high score. Amazing! I've also tried this with a i9 based laptop and with a i7 based mini PC. On 3 d Mark Time Spy, my i7 based system actually gets around 1450 and my i9 based system gets around 1857 without this eGPU. And after I have added this eGPU, the scores are actually skyrocketed. i7's score has jumped up to 6504 and on i9, it has gone beyond 7,400. More importantly, even after running the benchmark back to back three times, the score didn't get a hit. That means SGW Zone eGPU has a very good thermal solution. Okay, yeah, there are three copper heat pipes intelligently placed on a heat sink, and they have also added a heavy duty fan. Oh, wait, no, the fan doesn't even make loud sound on full load. Kudos to SGW Zone. I have been playing games and doing some rendering using this eGPU and you know what? It offers so very smooth performance that you won't even need to check FPS. Almost all the games get very high average FPS on high graphics settings. Yeah, based on your CPU, RAM and SSD, performance may vary, but you need to understand the engineers of SGW Zone has actually done a great job as they have managed to squeeze the best out of the RX 6600M. Okay, that's all about this eGPU from SGW Zone. Yeah, this is a gaming and AI eGPU. I have left a link in the description box below. Go ahead, check the product. But before that, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content.